Okay, folks, this is part one addendum to Thetis setup and configuration. This is all going to be grouped together in a playlist. So let's get right out, right to it. In the past couple of days, uh, I've had two people mention to me that, well, we've, we've stumbled upon this, that there is possibility of database corruption. So I need to go through this to explain to you what happened to me. And also first, I'm going to explain what happened to a friend of mine. All of a sudden, he could not get pure signal to work. He was in there fussing around and could not get it reset back to where it was. So I said, well, I know you hate to do this. He, he tried rolling it back to a previous database, couldn't get it to work. I don't know why, but pretty sure he ended up with database corruption. I did as well. Now, he did get it working. So what he did, what I told him to do, is going to set up and see this button right here it says reset database um, when you do this I don't know what's going to be lost but you will have to go back in and you have to do a lot of reconfiguring I'm assuming it's going to reset your database to default to a factory install default right so um, you can do that uh, so that being said, if you have any problems that you can't rectify, solve, you're going to have to reset the database. It's just an evil, uh, and that's assuming that you haven't exported your databases enough of them to roll back far enough to get, to get to a, another working stable database. All right. His was in relation to pure signal predistortion. What he couldn't get it to work. All right, I know he was in there tweaking and fussing around. So, on to my issue yesterday. So, what I ended up having was, after I did that video, I never set up the RX2. I imported my old database, right? Uh, well, the database I had installed prior to the video I put up. So... With that database, which I know was working, installed, it, I could not get the RX2 function to work. So, I'm going to show you a couple things here. I could not get the audio work. So, if you're going to run the RX2, the second receiver, um, you can go to audio. And you got two VACs here. So I run all on VAC. So I'm going to show you what ended up working for me, but I could not get this to work. I had to roll back to a previous database that I know I, I haven't used the second receiver in a long time. So I had to roll back to the previous database, but I wanted to show you how I set this up. So basically I have over here, if you look at the ring buffer, now this is on VAC2. I just leave this set at 60. Everything else is unchecked. I don't really care about latency, but I'm still having some issues with instability, and I don't know why. So anyways, uh, this uh, driver I set to EME, MME. Now remember, you cannot use the same driver on the card that you're using on VAC1. Okay? This is for you, all you VAC people out there. Um, and there's a thing on my website regarding that. So the overflows and underflows, really quick, you can reset these, just left click on them and it'll reset to zero. Overflows and underflows always happen when the software initially starts. And if you have all of this set up correctly, uh, it, it, they won't move. So you notice I would just reset them to zero and, and they stay at zero. So anyways, I digress. I uh, want to explain everything that I'm doing here. Um, so to get the RX2 working, I went to VAC2. I set the driver to MME and the output to my sound card. Now that's using the Windows driver on the existing station sound card. It does work. Okay. With a caveat. So let me light up RX2, which is up here. See this right here? So if you hit this button, 
it'll bring your second RX in. Now make sure you turn off the VFO sync and I can go to, let's go to seven, let's go to 40 meters. Come on. So this is 40 meters right here. Make sure your sideband is correct. So let's go to come down here. And we'll see if this happens. This happened this morning. So I'll click on the signal here. Try and zero beat them. Now this is going to be up on your VFOB. This is your RX2 second receiver. So I will unmute. Bring the volume down on the first receiver. Now this is, this is up here on 80 meters. Right, so you'll notice if I bring the volume up, we've got audio on VAC1. Let me come down here. Band and mode and origin. It's a little hot. By having something unchecked? Yes. So VAC1 is working. Now there's no audio on VAC2, as you can see. And bring the volume up on VAC2, nothing. So to get the audio working, what I do is I engage, I have it set up, uh, this works. And what happened this morning was the minute I hit this button, the software crashed. It, it went off the screen, I had to restart it, and then it worked. I cannot get this to be 100% stable, so I just wanted to present this to you guys. So let's see what happens. Enable VAC2. And we have okay, let me actually uh let me make sure uh VAC one is completely shut down. Grab the headphones, make sure I've got audio. Yep, we've got audio. Click over here. Margarine, margarine, margarine. Don't eat butter. Don't eat butter. And then it flips around. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't eat margarine. Eat butter. <laughs> okay. So it looks like she's stable. But don't be surprised if you have something happen and it has a uh, fit. Um, so that's how you get your VAC2 and your second receiver up and running on the Anon. That's how I do it. Maybe there's a better way that will promote more stability. But the second receiver will always work. But the audio is where the VAC settings are critical. Um, I haven't changed the VAC settings since it crashed this morning. And uh, let me uh, mute this here. And so it's, I just lit it up and everything was fine. So whatever, I'll go with it. Uh, one thing I did want to show you guys is in VAC2, I don't know if this is checked by default, but make sure you uncheck that. You won't get any audio. Uh, at least I don't. On a 7000, I don't know. Again, this is protocol one. And uh, on a 200D, and I'm assuming some things are going to be different on a 7000. Um, so there you go. All right, that's it for that addendum, the RX2 addendum. Uh, we'll be back with a lot more. 7-3.